Hello everyone. This is, uh, I just about had to work, but this is the third dome I put into here. And what I want to do now is I want to pop this out. Now, uh, a lot of you have asked to see how this is done. When I make these, I do uh, one layer of two ounce cloth. I put the resin in, dabbing it all in. And then I come in with a thicker strip. You can use a uh, weave or whatever. I use a thicker strip in through here, just to give my edge a good solid piece. And I put a bit in here where the cutout is, just to make sure the edges are, are thicker. Wet all that down. I come in again with two ounce cloth, and then I come in and do another two layers of one ounce cloth. And then that gives me my whole dome. Uh, gel coat goes on first. So what we want to see though, is how to take this out, or at least how I do it. If we look into here, you can see that there's the cutout for the eye stock. So I'm just gonna come right opposite of that, and I'm just gonna bend this in a bit, now I haven't even tried this yet, so on this dome, um, this is, you're seeing fresh. I'm just going to stick a couple of wedges in, and just a little bit. Now, if they don't, you don't have to use wedges like this, I mean these are, I do have them because I do a fair amount of this fiberglass work now, um, and I just find it's nice to have them, but yeah, anything that will just get in a little bit. These are fairly soft, and I keep a little over the top of it both of these ones. So there. Okay, so now I've got my two wedges in directly opposite of where my cutout is. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in with a shot of air. Uh, I've done this before in the past when I was learning and I was trying to put wedges all the way around and trying to get in with a, a bunch of other stuff. I just use a simple little air gun here and it's got just a, a nice little nozzle on there. And in between the two wedges, I've got a little gap there. So if we watch this, let's just put it in there. There. Don't know if you saw it, it was very subtle, but the whole dome just popped right out. So I'll take out my wedges. So really minimal uh, pulling on this, very little work to do. And then you just grab the dome and it comes right out. Best way to take out anything you do uh, and there's lots of soap on this. I was wondering about that because I, I had a bit of a puddle in there and I had to wipe it up. So I was wondering if I was going to get stuck a bit. Nice looking dome. Uh, this will clean up beautifully. And this is the third one to my trio of Daleks that I'm doing. And I'm still looking for a name. Although I am leaning towards Looney, Toonie, and Finn, uh, which are Canadian currency. Um, doesn't sound overly evil, but not too bad. We can see here that I've got the shoulder section. That's already waxed up. That's got, I uh, just finished that today. That now has nine coats of wax onto it. It's the first time I'm gonna be using it. It was not, when I pulled it off, it was in a bit of a mess. Uh, the gel coat, I did not put it on thick enough. Once again, learning how to use gel coat. And you see on back here, I just, I didn't use gel coat and it came out beautifully. So I've since I've learned, I've understood what I did wrong and I've moved on. Um, but that doesn't mean that the, the form was ruined. I just went in with some body filler, filled it up, waxed it over, and I'm good to go. Same thing on my skirt. It, it was a bit of a mess too. So, and once again, I did it off a form that was freshly painted like a day before. So the paint didn't have time to cure. Um, a couple of mistakes, yeah, but that's part of learning all this. So that's it. There's the dome. It's done. And uh, it's three, so I can put my mold away and starting on my shoulders and my skirt and that's this weekend we'll talk to you again bye